Hey peeps, time to beat this dungeon. Oops, okay. Key door. Blob of magical water that hurts you. I think these are like the water spiders. Oof. I think I got those bombs. I should probably stock up on more bombs later. That would be a good idea. Okay. Dungeon map. I'm gonna try my best to make sure I don't get lost. Even if I've played this game so many times, there's always a chance that I might uh, forget something. Well, I'll always figure it out eventually, but if I get lost or if I forget something, I'll end up wasting time. In most of these dungeons, maybe every single one, uh, I have gotten stuck at least once in each dungeon across my various playthroughs. Alright. Oh! <laughs> I actually uh, forgot about these bombable walls, but my intuition was telling me earlier, hmm, probably need more bombs. And it appears I was right. There are these switches, you gotta push from the right. Wait, what's in that skull? I think it's just a heart. I don't think it's anything important. Because there's no way to drain out the water. If that was like a key or something that I needed to beat the dungeon, then game over. <laughs> there's no way to get rid of the water. Whoa. I'm pretty sure it was just a heart. Big chest here. It's just tempting me. We gotta go get the big key. Think this way. I'm kind of just going. <laughs> uh, it's like this muscle memory. I okay. Oh wait, what's up here? Oh. Well, I don't think it's possible to. Uh, Skip that key. Uh, wait. Oh, right, 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 right. You don't push. Ah, fire. Great balls of fire. Whoa. What? Uh, it's like really trying to get me. But it failed. So it sucks to be those great balls of fire. Not so great. Ah, uh, so many little things. Little wizards, little spiders, or whatever these things are. Oh, okay. I'm doing everything in the right steps. Whoa, okay. And... Yeah. You can't get to the switch without the key. That sound effect. Whoa. I need a new Zelda game. I want a new Zelda game. Once Breath of the Wild 2 coming out, probably not for another 1, 2, 3 years. They always delay every single Zelda game. They delayed Twilight Princess. They delayed Skyward Sword. They delayed the first Breath of the Wild. Always. I want Breath of the Wild 2 to be out right now. Yeah, we have Skyward Sword HD coming out in July, but eh. I played through Skyward Sword twice. I'm not really... I'm not enthusiastic about playing through it again. But I am interested in playing through it without having to deal with, pardon my language, uh, shitty motion controls. So that's something I'm interested in. Uh... I'm also worried that using the joystick too much. Y'all, I'm assuming you have to use the right joystick instead of motion controls. I don't want that to give my, uh, my pro controller drift. Since Nintendo's very well known for having drift. Whoa. 
in their Joy-Cons, and rarely in their Pro Controllers, but more so the Joy-Cons. I need to... I should have hit that switch. Wait, well, if I hit that switch... Right, okay. I remember now. So I need to, uh, hit this switch, and then I go... And then I have to go around the other way. The way I came originally. A lot of times with Zelda dungeons, you have to retrace your steps in order to figure out what you need to do next. Hmm. The truth is, however, that drifting controllers is not just a Joy-Con or Nintendo problem. Apparently, the PlayStation 5 controllers have been having drifting problems too, as well as Xbox controllers. What's with all these controllers having drift? What happened to the days when uh, controllers would work fine? Uh, oh, I think there's some stuff here. Ah, so much stuff. Kind of just um walk back and forth a bunch whenever I'm kind of ah just trying to avoid hits. It's kind of like a bullet hell game. Alright. Blocks are down. Is this the big key? I'm pretty sure this is the big key. And then I can get the item for this dungeon. Yeah, big key. It always feels satisfying when you get the big key and then you know, okay, I can get the main item from the dungeon now. And then once I have that, I can beat the dungeon and beat the boss. Like, you know that that's how uh, Zelda dungeons are designed, but... It's still a good feeling. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the main room, done with this side. I just realized I haven't gone the compass yet. I think I accidentally skipped it. Whoa. I'll try to find it if it's. Oh, wait, it might be in this room. Bookshot got. Bookshot's cool. Uh, oh. Easy to miss that. Normally, the order that you get the items, the dungeon items in, is uh, dungeon map, and then compass, and then dungeon item. I don't think I got the compass yet. Yeah. Wait. I think it's down here. It's probably down here. A strong feeling that's down here. Yeah, it's down here. Or maybe it's. I'm pretty sure it is. What? Okay, I was wrong. And what's the point of this room? Wait, it might just be over here. What? Okay, I was right. <laughs> Uh, I was right. Okay, that was the compass. The game was making me question myself. I was questioning my, uh... Myself in so many ways. Alright. I think left first. Now you can, uh... You want to learn how to use the different items that Link can get in, uh... In various scenarios. Like the hook shot can do damage from a distance, but not use the barrels, and it comes out faster. Some enemies it just stuns though. Always try to use your items. Um, learn how to be resourceful and versatile. Oh, we kill this guy. Whoa. It's throwing its bones at me. Okay, down the stairs. Ah, I was wrong in choosing left instead of right first. I'm supposed to go right first. It happens. I'm making good time though. Getting toward the last stretch of the dungeon. Whoa, whoa. I haven't taken much damage. My health is still full. Doing alright. Wait, what's going on? Hang on. Hang on. 
way is there there was a door right oh right 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 i remember i remember and one could get stuck here and they don't realize that hitting this switch even though it's close to the left side the left door it opens up the right door too so you still open this the door but it opens up the right door too and that's the one you want to go through well, some people might not realize that I think there was a time when I didn't realize that. Or at least it took me a few more moments to figure it out. Alright. Now the water's gone. Can I go get those chests? Can I bother? You know. Wait. Let me just check it out real quick. See if it affected the water level. Where those chests... Maybe not, though. Oh, it did. Okay. At the same time, I probably could have ended up here going the other way, too. Wow, it's... One takes damage so quickly here. Oh. The very first Zelda game on the NES, um, and also Link to the Past, and actually Skyward Sword as well. Those are the Zelda games where... Uh, enemies do the most damage. Oh, Breath of the Wild too. Um, depending on your stats. In Breath of the Wild it's different though because it depends on the strength of your armor and the enemy that's attacking. The stronger enemies do more damage, but if you have stronger armor, like there's like a formula that calculates how much damage you ta take. In all the other Zelda games, it's a fixed amount unless there's like a defense or armor upgrade. Which there... I think there actually is in almost every Zelda game. Not in Skyward Sword though. In Skyward Sword enemies just take off multiple hearts for damage. Uh, but you start off with more hearts than usual. Yeah, hidden door behind this waterfall. You can actually figure that out just by looking at the map and kind of seeing that there's a room behind there. At least I can find hearts around. In some of the more recent Zelda games, if you do like a hero mode, which is the hard mode for Zelda games, a lot of them don't provide hearts. You have to be especially careful. Whoa. Whoa. Ow. I remember when I beat Skyward Sword on the Wii, the original Skyward Sword on hero mode. It was pretty challenging. I felt pretty accomplished pulling that off. Cool. Then for the Wii, for the Switch HD version, looks like I'll have to do it all over again. Cool. And then there's like Twilight Princess and Wind Waker where the difficulty in those games is already super easy. Like, hero mode doesn't really make it that much harder. Because enemies do like a quarter of a heart damage. Well, here's the bus. You gotta use the hook shot to move these little cloud puffball things. Kind of look like cheese puffs. And then get rid of them. And underneath, you'll see that giant eye jellyfish monster. Which, uh, most Zelda bosses are basically just giant eyeballs. This is giant eyeball number one. There are two more giant eyeballs in this game. Giant eyeballs. Then you have Goma. Well, the original giant eyeball. That was also a crab. Ooh. Crab spider combination. Whoa. Ow. Oh, jeez. My health is already. Okay, gotta be careful. Ow. Okay, that's one fairy. I've never had difficulties with this boss before because I always had more health, but now I gotta be careful. Time to sword strikes, not get bum rushed here. Uh... Alright, time spin attacks, that's the way to go. Come on. Yeah, stupid idiot. 
keep feeling like I'm doing something wrong when I get the heart container. Because, um, uh, I want to do a low heart run. And I keep forgetting that the heart container is required to, uh, for the crystal to fall down. As in other Zelda games, you can skip the heart to do like a three heart run. Okay, second dungeon is beaten. I think because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select f uh, few knew of its location. At, this, at some point, that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points, like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Gandor, the thief, no, Gan, the evil king of darkness. Do I understand? Yes, I do. These maidens actually give a lot of um, interesting backstory, lore, and also tips. Like when she was talking about the portals between the worlds, you have to find different portals in order to gain access to the other dungeons. May have the way of the Triforce lead. Well, uh, made a way of the hero lead to the Triforce. I was about to say, made a way of the Triforce lead to the hero. Getting my words all jumbled up. Okay, second dungeon is beaten. Third dungeon will be over close to Kakariko Village. So, and then the fourth dungeon is really close right after that. Then we have the ice dungeon in lake in the lake, and then the swamp dungeon, uh, and then we have uh, Death Mountain, Turtle Rock, and then the final yeah yeah yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I'll go through the rest of these dungeons later, and I think I'm gonna start closing my videos by stealing Kenny Omega's quote. Uh, goodbye and good night. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.